Hi guys, this is another episode of my charity shop Gold or Garbage. It wasn't intended to be. I was actually out today looking for some wheels and axles that I could use for a different project and spotted this in the charity shop. It's a pretty cheap plastic toy. Got nothing in it. Has got a couple of axles and wheels that I could use. And I spotted it's actually got a little battery box up there. So I shall see if I can change the batteries in it and see if it does anything. I assume it will make tractor noises. Other than that, what I thought I might do was just see if I could wrap a rubber band round the back axle here, attach it to the front somewhere, and just see if I can make it go along like a rubber band powered car. Nice and simple. We'll see. Well, I took the little plastic cover off and there's nothing inside. So it's one of those cheap Chinese toys that's been designed for something else and then they haven't bothered with it and they've just sold it in its basic components. So that's a bit of a disappointment. I was rather hoping it might make tractor noises but there's nothing in there. So anyway, we'll see if we can wrap a rubber band around it and get it to run as a rubber band powered car. Right, let's see what we can do. we go. That's what I'd call an entry level rubber band powered car. Very simple. Certainly the sort of thing you could show a youngster how to do. I like that. In fact I think I'll take it downstairs and do a test run in the kitchen. Test run time. So we've got our charity shop tractor, which cost me a pound, not sure if that's in focus. But I've just put a rubber band over the front, underneath, wrap it around the back axle a few times till it grips itself, wind it up. Don't want to do it too much or we'll be wheel spinning. And there we go. So, charity shop gold or garbage. Um, gold really, because it works. <laughs> 